Hello everyone, how are you all? This is Himali over here. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Um, I would like to start the video with tons of gratitude for to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. To all of you who have not subscribed to my channel, still thank you because you watch the content and um, yeah, uh, if you watch it, that means we're talking, sort of we're talking upon topics of interest um, and uh, if that's the case that you connect with me but I don't even know where you are from maybe uh, you can drop a uh, hi and let me know which city you're from country will let it be because then it becomes too broad and I want to know specifically where you are from right um, so um, I'll start with today's topic as you've read the title the title is meditation basics of meditation um, and why everyone needs to know about it right so in this video I'll be covering five points and those points are how what is meditation how to meditate how not to meditate age and meditation I'll explain it to you what it really means and the fourth point where to meditate all right um, I'll start with what is meditation so meditation is a state within a being okay and it is a very broad subject so I'm going to keep it very simple so that it can reach to you in its totality Meditation is a state of stillness within that reflects on the outside. What happens when a person is meditative? Right? If you are a meditative person, then it means that you have, you go into states or zones in your mind where you're not very much attached to your ego. You're not... Um, attached to ego driven desires and so so many things and you are just in a state of awareness a person can be meditative with their eyes open a person can be meditative with their eyes closed it doesn't matter but because i am talking about meditation as a practice meditation as a practice is done when you close your eyes right it's a um, Dhyan in Hindi it's called Dhyan which people also say that Dhyan is focus however this Kriya that we do do this practice that we do which is meditation is almost like focusing it is focusing okay um, so now that I've covered what is meditation meditation is stillness it is almost a state of Shunyata, where thoughts are not running too much in your mind but how to meditate because this is where the entire population fails right and I'm actually going to put in the description um, two accounts um, two YouTube channels that will help you with meditative content so I'm going to link them in the description um, but I am also here as a resource available to all of you so so I wish to discuss how to meditate basically because dhyana is focus so it is important why you sit for meditation how your posture is but you don't have to focus on the posture but the first thing is that the posture should be uh, good you cannot have your back hunched you need to have your back pretty much straight uh, it should be uh, god this side that's why i don't like this dupatta <laughs> you know um, your back should be erect straight all right and it should not be hunched i've said that now when you close your eyes you have to breathe deeply okay and you cannot breathe deeply just at one go because that's uh, like again putting your body and yourself through stress 
so what's the way to do it so the way to do this is to breathe in like for example i'll show you so the, the this breath that i took is still shallow but if i have to like go to the deepest breathing which is like the diaphragm the belly breathing i have to take deep breaths slowly slowly maybe the 10th time the 12th time my breath will be the deepest and the most um, aligned with my subtle bodies okay which i'm coming to so as the breath goes deeper you get aligned to the other bodies which are which is not your this body is the astral the celestial the other bodies okay the subtle body as i say and you start to begin to feel in your body you begin to feel yourself because um, we are often like caught up too much in the mind so what happens when we are caught up too much in the mind we are not really aware that can take you back to the first point that it's awareness it's so once the awareness is there like you don't really need to focus on this okay now i've got an awareness now i'll do something else no uh, it will just happen automatically that's how our bodies are designed and that's how the human consciousness works okay uh, after this you need to breathe in deeply but this time you need to focus um either on uh, so this this one i this particular the nostril the focusing upon the you know uh, the nostrils is something i've learned from kamalika roy uh, her account is mentioned below in the description and um sorry there was a call that was coming i'm really sorry about it um and you need to focus on your nostrils and then you need to breathe deeply so now the focus the dhyan part comes in right um now after this you basically go into a zone of deep state and relaxation and uh, but but it's not that simple what happens is that you get caught up again by the monkey mind and then you realize like these thoughts that you're having is are essentially nothing but a mirror literal mirror of your internal self okay which is not just the mind okay initially it is the monkey mind because it is too heavy on you but slowly and slowly you begin to realize that this that i am more than this monkey mind so it's not just the mind that is the in, that is the reflection externally these thoughts that are there so uh, you may be in a state of zen but then you may fall down and you may get trapped by the monkey mind again so you need to allow yourself to release these thoughts these feelings and which is where everyone goes wrong in meditation so please allow yourself to whatever that this this is coming it's coming but it's like a cloud that's passing by so that particular thought is like a cloud that's passing by and you're letting go of it right um this is how to do meditation so how not to do meditation is of course uh, breathing in too deeply too fast too slow controlling breath um you don't do that and um, controlling your thoughts controlling your emotions focusing on a particular point of light thinking that this is meditation or something focusing on some point that's not meditation however there is something in yoga in the yogic philosophy trataka right which 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 is like when you look at a particular light and you focus upon it but it's very different so this is the basic meditation that's why i am like uh, making it clear that don't compare it with trataka then 
that's that's how you don't meditate right uh, age and meditation now this is a very important point because i am somebody who has lived in an ashram in hyderabad for 2 years okay and not only that i have been associated to uh, meditative communities um i've had lots of friends who are meditative and <laughs> actually tons of them who are not meditative at all right now um again when we use the word meditative i just really mean practitioners okay um official practitioners of meditation i don't mean to say anything else over here anybody can be meditative i feel that even a cow is meditative so by using the word meditative i don't really mean to put someone or even myself on a pedestal because that's not the case um so coming back to the point why i am saying about age and meditation is because i wish to discuss that how there is an attachment in people uh, that people think that you know men can meditate in a certain way and women cannot meditate in a certain way this is this is for real people think that the way or the abilities or the inabilities in a woman to take stress is is in a certain way as opposed to um as opposed to a man a man can you know be very stress free and doesn't give a shit like that uh, these are all wrong notions very very wrong absolutely blunder sort of a mindset that we come from these are all preconceived notions so while talking about egos related to worry stress attachment uh to one's masculine feminine energy identity comes in the way of meditation okay uh even like taking out time for meditation from your regular routine because i am talking about age and meditation but it's it's more like you know egos and attachment related to meditation actually that's the point i should call that point number 4 and that's what i mean to say over here even age is one of the parts of it so a person let's say lot of people think that you know um this particular person oh well uh this person is uh, not not married yet so what he or she knows about life and they are meditating huh. well uh there are people who also think in this way that oh um he's not a father yet what does he know about roles and responsibilities and actual stress in life right um someone else can again take it in this way that oh he's she's not a grandmother so she doesn't know anything uh and she doesn't know any of the stuff about, stuff about you know how or what uh, grandchildren means or what are the worries of having a grandchildren in in one's life uh, there there are so many egos and attachment when we connect with people and when we even discuss or share in general then you will see that people are layered up with all these preconceived notions thought processes and just absolute blunder that's going on in the mind of minds of people and uh, it really doesn't make any sense whatsoever it doesn't make any sense because when you meditate or whatever uh, whatever is the reason that you have landed up in meditation actually i should say that whatever is the reason it just means that the monkey mind was taking a toll on you right or you just live you just wish to be more detached and more uh healthy and happy in life so whatever the reason is for you to meditate it has nothing to do with these preconceived notions and these things will come in your way where and you know uh maybe you don't have it but a particular person can have or maybe any one of you watching this video can have this notion that i definitely need to med- med- meditate i don't know why my daughter is meditating or i don't know why my son is meditating but i am the one who needs it because i have so much of stress in life that's an that's your ego talking that's your st- that's your attachment speaking okay and uh 
it it has been recently discussed so much and even um in so many educational institutes because recently i like i am on a break from teaching only so coming from a space where um i was into ed- education i can tell you for sure that people are realizing that how much it is important to do relaxation exercises and uh, uh teach some sort of emotional awareness and and also detachment like slowly slowly introducing meditation to children to youth um okay once after you know the complete development of a person of a child is done then when they reach their ad- adulthood youth we can introduce uh, meditation to them so meditation is that important it has nothing to do with anybody's atti- uh, all these you know nonsensical um what what is it called um, uh, entanglements ego egos and attachments that th- this person doesn't need and that person needs and oh what do they know about this and what do they know about that oh i am a divorce person i know what is the pain and oh you don't know shit because i work 24/7 and you are a work from home person all these things are there i am telling you and it can affect your practice because it is only going to put in a more heavier sort of a uh, load on your head and is going to make your life even more miserable because you are going to like sort of kind of sort of like drift away from such an important uh, practice so this is a very important point it's almost related to you know like how the society kind of sort of treats meditation and meditation practitioners um the last point being that where to meditate because again in this particular point as well there are so many egos and so many uh, other nonsense attached which people put uh, layer above layer and layer and above layer like a lasagna or maybe some sort of i don't know what uh, and uh, people make the whole dam process very complicated so the venue where you should meditate is not so people say this thing i'll come to the point what i am really saying if some of you know then you knew when i started speaking like if you don't know i'll explain it to you now people have this notion that sitting at a particular space for meditation makes that particular room charged makes that particular seat charged makes that particular asan whatever charged right uh, charged with a uh, with a with a high energy okay um, see this is not happening okay you don't need a set room to meditate that this is my room you don't need a fixed uh, place to meditate uh, and this is something one realizes when once they go to an at least intermediate level because advanced is something i even i have not reached and even i have not even reached intermediate but i see like um i see all these these yoga teachers and i see all these other people who have actually um reached a level where in you know they are just meditating besides the ganga river besides the ganges they are also um meditating up on the hills so when you talk about this bullshit that it's getting charged no you are getting charged with a lot a lot of soul power with a lot of um when you are meditating you are getting uh, strengthened not only your soul but also your physical body because there's something known as neuroplasticity and i am i am not going to touch upon this topic in this video i'll not do that because it's a because if you see in this video the only point that is missing is why to meditate and i am not going to put this put that thing in this video because why to meditate it 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 can be a whole 30 40 minutes kind of sort of like a documentary a mini film in itself so there are so many reasons to meditate like uh, where to start and where to begin so con- in conclusion meditate wherever you can where nobody disturbs you as simple as that where nobody disturbs you you can sit in peace there's not a lot of not a lot of noise because that's not going to work out and you're sitting in peace 
and nobody is disturbing you that's where you should meditate even if it's outside in the park and this is the point that i wanted to cover that also make a practice to meditate outside in nature because um, when we get too accustomed to being like within four walls it eventually impacts us not exactly like right away similarly when we get too accustomed to like meditating within four walls it eventually has an impact on us that we are not able to do it outside we we kind of sort of become very uh, comfortable there's a comfortable zone sort of a situation going on so just because you've made made it almost almost 21 minutes i wanted to add that bonus point and i hope whatever whatever that i shared today um, helps any one of you if it can help i'll call this video a success and my youtube channel a success um thank you so much for watching this video i hope you uh, find my uh, if you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't and you can like this video if you liked it please comment i'll see you soon in the next video bye